All right, so we have a pretty big and small construction update. I guess a lot has happened over the week. We have teasers. We have maybe possible cranes arriving. We don't know. This looks like a uh, boom lift, which they would use in assistance to helping install track in vertical construction. And we have an, an interesting an interesting development on the construction. So it looks like they're digging out a trench for they turn out of the station. And they were also removing in the process all the electrical and water in that area. Um, so we know that they did a lot of water and electrical work over like the spring and summer so far. And it looks like they were probably just replacing what they need to tear out. So you'll see in a couple of these shots how much they've dug out this trench for the turn of the station. So now we know it's going to dip down pretty low because it, they dug out down so far, about 15 feet. See right there? And we can finally see that footer that has been buried in a, like a ditch for the longest time now. They dug that deep that I can now see it. And we have all the footers again done. Again, all the footers in this area are now done and we now can only wait until the Splashworks closes for them to do the other approximately like 40% um, of the footers, maybe even 30% of the footers remaining. Um, so that's super exciting too. Um, and we'll have to wait till, um, you know, September, uh, October for them to start that when they close the path. But um, very exciting because what looks like is about to happen is vertical construction. They're cleaning up the construction site. And by when I when I say that, I mean they're removing objects on the right side of the construction site and moving it over to Splashwork's side. And why that's exciting is they cleared a pathway for the, um, the cranes and the booms and all that to move and assemble the coaster. So as you see here, they have stuff here and they're gonna, that's for the track. And um, so they're going to store stuff on those wood beams or separate them so they don't scratch. And then you also have a lots of gravel that arrived today as well. And the gravel will be used to help prevent the cranes from sinking into the mud. So they'll lay that gravel down once they're done cleaning up so that the crane can start assembling the attraction. So as a lot of you know, in my last video, you saw the Giga Teaser. And we said, take it with a grain of salt, even though you heard it in my voice, I was bloody excited <laughs> and i'm sure you're excited too but what's interesting is the teasing campaign as a whole so as you see they jumped right to these posters 8.15 um and I, I don't have much to say about them so the teaser posters i feel like were a bit of a letdown for me as um i was expecting a little more what i do find really exciting is the teaser poster at cedar point unfortunately i really wish that poster was perhaps placed at our park just because um, I feel like having 8.15 posted uh, all around the construction site was a bit um, a bit less than what I was expecting. And I mean, they really missed the mark on not placing it on the tunnel. It, it made sense to have it along the construction site, but a lot of the guests are peeking into the tunnel. So for me, it didn't really make much sense as to why there wasn't any teasers on the tunnel. They definitely missed the mark on there. Um, I know they're they're super busy right now, so I'm not insulting them at all. Um, and I know if I was in the same boat, I'd probably um, be just the same. So no judgment there. Um, I just wish my one comment would be that we see some posters at Canada's Wonderland like we see at Cedar Point for our coaster. That's all I really want to see. I mean, I was thrilled to see the Giga um, on that poster. And something interesting about that is they did it in an ink that you can only see if you know what you're looking for. And if you notice in a lot of the pictures, you can't pick it up by the naked eye. It needs to be zoomed in and edited and enhanced like we did for our image for you to be able to get a good shot of it. So I thought that was interesting because they didn't technically want us to see it like, you know, in a lot of teasers where they throw in red herrings. You know, when a red herring is on a poster, it's out there for you to see. It's literally like, so if you saw it on our poster, it'd be like, the mining co is getting ready for a giga adventure. That's how I would like expect to see it if it was a red herring. Um, how it's placed now has me thinking, um, is this possibly a giga coaster? And I mean, there is a fair shot at this being a giga coaster. As you can see with these blueprints right here, again, I blanked out a lot because I don't want you seeing elements on the coaster. I just want it to use it as a reference that you can tell it's very unique in the aspect that if you look at it, it doesn't cross over and under itself like you see on a lot in all dive coasters, actually. This dive coaster is very similar to Valkyria in a sense where it kind of goes out and back, except this out and back on this dive coaster is significantly large. 
So it works its way from all the way over at Mindbuster's entrance, all the way to Timberwolf's entrance, and then back. So again, this is a very unique dive coaster, and um, one could only assume how would it make it all the way back to its break run if it was smaller than Bow Raven. Just some food for thought. I mean, this could end up being anything at this point. With how much we know about this coaster, especially me, we don't know a lot about it. A lot of you have been messaging me over the last couple of days, like, do you actually know the height? Or are you just withholding the information? I promise you, I do not know the height. Yes, we have some calculations. Yes, we know the lift hill is about 80 meters. It is not going to be less than 80 meters. So the, we do not agree with other sites that are suggesting it's going to be 175 feet tall. Again, I use the word, uh, well, the number 175 feet tall because in order for it to be smaller than Val Raven with the tunnel depth and the valley, it would have to be about 175 feet. And I can guarantee that's not the case. Um, so don't panic. This coaster isn't going to be lame, um, and it's great for the general public, so it's super exciting whenever Canada's Wonderland gets, and we are only 22 days away from announcement. So just buckle up, um, get ready, because um, over the next couple weeks, you are going to start seeing probably, again, we are just a rumors and speculation channel, vertical construction. Um, hopefully we see a little more teasing. I would love to see some of those uh, posters work their way over to Canada's Wonderland. And then, I mean, we're going to be at the announcement live streaming, um, we're going to have a couple of cameras uh, live streaming. We're going to have one live streaming on YouTube, one live streaming on Instagram, and then we're going to have a, our DSLR camera capturing the moment for a documentary we are working on for the coaster. So again, lots of exciting things happening. So uh, give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and keep watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.